Yes? Do you think I could borrow your keychain? The one that has Bruno's glass eye on it? You want to borrow it? What for? Actually, all I really want is the eye. I mean, it's just so cool. What if you break it? I won't. I'll be really careful. I promise. I don't think I want to take that chance. Sorry. The box of your great uncle's things that you sold to Zeke's curio shop, that was a no-no, wasn't it? What box of things? I don't know what you're talking about. The guy who owns the shop said you sold him a box of assorted items. I'm assuming they used to be Bruno's. Well, somebody screwed up somewhere because I haven't sold anything to anybody. Why would I sell one lousy box of stuff when I'm about to inherit a whole house full of stuff? Get real. You sold it because you needed some quick cash in order to keep Summer happy, didn't you? How do you know about her? Playing detective is actually a lot more than a hobby with me. I could make a lot of trouble for you, Henry. But if you come clean, tell me about Summer. She's this girl I'm in love with. I think she loves me back, but she's so unpredictable, it drives me nuts. How is she unpredictable? I never know what's going to make her happy. Like, just before I left, I took practically every bit of cash I had and bought her a bunch of CDs. You know, to keep her occupied while I was gone, right? Well, soon as I get here, she calls and says her sound system just went bluey and I had to buy her a new one because what good were the CDs I bought her if she couldn't play them? So then I... So then you threw a bunch of Bruno's things into a box and sold it to that curio shop. Yeah. I wired her the money, but then she called and said she also needed new headphones. Next call, it was new speakers. And now she expects me to buy her a flat-screen TV. When I try to talk to her about always wanting more like that, she gets really mad. But I'm afraid if I don't give her what she wants, she'll... I'm afraid she'll dump me. And I couldn't take that. I mean, she's the only girlfriend I've ever had. Ever will have, probably. Look, you don't need to go telling Renee or any of those lawyers about selling that stuff, right? I can't just ignore what you did, Henry. I know. You still want the glass eye? Take it. Go ahead. It's all yours. You want something, I want something. Take it and we're even, okay? Well, it's not like you sold off half the estate or anything. Three hundred bucks. That's all I've gotten out of his estate. I swear. Go on, take it. I was naughty, but from now on I'll be nice, I promise. Do you know anything about the crystal skull that was in that box of junk you sold to Zeke's? There wasn't any crystal skull in that box. Are you sure? It would have been inside another box. Well, I did throw in some smaller boxes. Like I said, I was just grabbing stuff. Was it valuable? All I really know for sure right now is that it's missing. Great. Be just my luck to have sold something that wasn't junk to that glorified trash collector. I'll check back with you later. Awesome. librarian's tale. 
Hmm, something Bruno Bollet wrote in that Tired Eyes book mentioned the librarian's eye. Here we go, a librarian's tale. Thank you. 